Are we ready for church? Yeah. Let's start church. Come on in. So March Madness has been all the rage this week. Seems like everyone I talk to, it's either, hey, I'm doing really great, or hey, my bracket just busted. Uh, in our house, March Madness actually started last weekend. Um, my wife, Isabel, started potty training our son, Walt. <laughs> madness. Pure madness. Oh, come on, spring. Uh, if, if you don't know me, if I haven't met you yet, I'm Keaton. Uh, my dad, Bruce, is the pastor here. And if you were here a few weeks ago, I got up here uh, slightly uncomfortable and did the greeting for my uh, Grandpa Larry's first sermon uh, in almost 20 years. Uh, my dad was a little bit jealous, and so here I am again. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, my dad has challenged us over the years to be a church that prays for each other. And you remember when we walk in, uh, this is sitting by the door every Sunday. It's a prayer handout. It's, everyone, it's the people in the church who need, need prayer. And this week, we have a few family members who could really use prayer. So let's practice that together. Lord, thank you for being in control. Thank you for your never-ending love and strength. Give Roy strength and patience and quick healing during his stay at Skagit Valley Hospital. Help Sierra and her family to have courage during their stay at Seattle Children's this week and be with the doctors performing her surgery. Lord, give peace and comfort to Connie and her family following the recent passing of her 85-year-old mom, Helen. And please be with Stacy and her five kids after the passing of Larry, their husband and dad, on Friday following his battle with cancer. Be the comfort to their pain during such a hard time. Yet so often, Lord, we cannot comprehend the logic behind sickness and tragedy, but in the midst of our confusion, we're so thankful knowing you remain in control. Give us wisdom, inflame our desire to seek you through your word. Amen. Amen. And again, remember, this is in the back. Let's just keep practicing with me. Let's be a church that prays for each other. Ah, okay, we ready? Ready to get going? All right, let's all welcome Scott. Come on up, Scott. All right, let's come back together. Grab your seats. Let's take our seats. John and Pat, come on up. Let's hear what they got to say about grace groups. Thank you. Everyone say thanks, John and Pat. All right. So I think now we have someone to welcome, new His Place member, Patrick Duguay. Uh, Welcome. It's great when someone who's been coming to the church uh, decides that this is a fit, and they want to commit and go a little deeper and become a member. Uh, and I have no doubt that Patrick is going to do great things here. His last name's Duke Duguay. Oops. <laughs> Duguay. Hi, Patrick. All right, everyone with me now say, hi, Patrick. All right. And speaking of serving, uh, we're putting uh, Judy Fisher under the volunteer spotlight. This is Judy. I've known, I've known, yes, let's clap. I've known Judy since I was a little kid. Judy's always got a smile on. She's uh, so full of joy. Uh, and if you didn't know, here's, what, here's some of the things Judy's been doing. Uh, she shops for the cookies for your coffee. She picks up our communion bread, stripes our par parking lot, which... For the first time driving in today, I saw there's stripes in our parking lot, and that's her who does that, uh, at least one of the people. Uh, she's painted rooms and a bunch of other stuff. She's ushered for a couple years and been blacking out our glass doors for 11 years. She does it all, and so I just have to say, Judy, don't do so much. You're making us all look bad. <laughs> uh, but seriously, Judy, thank you, and everyone with me say, thank you, Judy. Thank you. Ah, all right. You guys ready to worship? Yeah. All right, I am. Father God, we are ready. We're ready to worship. We're here with our entire hearts, full of joy.
please help us to get something from your word this morning and be with my dad as he does his sermon. And everybody said, amen. amen.